Hey, so what I like about this page, no top bar, no polluted top bar with a lot of options. I really love these because it's not confusing. Their homepage, let's see, this redirects me to the homepage. It seems like it. Let me see, because I always also hate pages that don't do this. Okay, perfect. Let's analyze this copy here. The free, fun, and effective way to learn a language. Okay, and also parentheses here before continuing. It will always be harder for me, for you, for everyone to analyze the copy, the conversion, the quality overall of a landing page of a very popular company because they are very popular. Uh, they are very popular. So we are always tainted by the, you know, like the zeitgeist of knowing them. So what I mean by this is that I will probably analyze it as better than it actually is just because I know what Duolingo is. Okay. So with that being said, let's go back here. Free, fun, and effective way to learn a language. What I like about this is the alliteration here, free and fun. Uh, effective. Free and fun and effective is nice because the, you know, like a good headline always takes away some objections. And the biggest objection whenever someone sees free and fun is that, okay, it will never work. So it comes here with effective. Uh, learner language, okay. Uh, I like it more than I dislike it. So it's good overall. I give it like seven out of 10. But I don't know, I feel it could be better. The illustration here is very minimalistic and you can see it portrays a lot of different cultures, you know, like the, this guy here, this girl here, you know, like everyone is different, you know, like this, this gives this idea of like, it's global, it's for everyone. I like how clean it, it is. I remember a few years back, how Duolingo landing page used to have like this globe and be more polluted like this, it's way better. Get started is always a strong CTA because it's better than sign up, you know, like sign up, you sign up for something your prefecture is doing, you know, like something you have to do. Get started is clean. Uh, take notes on these because it probably help you. And you know, like, if you, if you can just put a get started, I'll, I already have an account also much better than signing, you know, like, because signing, uh, even though it's also standard, it assumes that the person understand that it means that they have an account. And you would be astounded by the amount of people that don't know or don't even care if they have accounts or some in somewhere in some place, you know, like, so I would rather have an account is way more relatable and human way of saying signing, you know, like signing is usually reserved for those who have an account, but here it's explicit, you know, like I already have an account. So very good, very good call to actions. I like how this one is way more highlighted than this one. I like there's nothing else here. Uh, what what else could be here? Maybe some social proof, you know, like some, I don't know, a hundred million people have used this, but it's okay. It's already pretty good as it is. This could probably be a little bit better. I can't think of anything right now to make it better. Probably could be a little bit better, but it's okay. Let's scroll a little bit. And by the way, this is above the fold. So this is already 80% of the importance. So let's scroll the second fold. Free, fun, effective. Okay, you, you can see that they really care about it because they have shown it again. You know, learning with the language is fun and research shows that it works with quick, bite size, blah, blah, blah. Um, okay, it, it's their own domain. Okay, I like it because I was worried that it wouldn't be their own domain, which would be horrible because it would send me away to another domain. And let's see very quickly if in this page I have any call to action to join because I, I'm only on this page if I'm not convinced. You know, like, so let me see. Uh, yeah, no, no, no call to actions for me to join. And again, don't be afraid to, you know, like point out, um, uh, things that are not as good in very known, very well known companies, you know, like Duolingo is very well known, but again, they should have a, uh, a call to action here because if I'm on this page, I'm skeptical about something. So why not? And you can see, by the way, another parenthesis of this entire series, I won't be reading everything like verbating because that's not not that's not how real users you know like function that's not how persons function we skin so i'm going to mostly skin and go a little bit deeper because we are analyzing those pages but the idea is that not all of your cops going to be read you know, like people are going to read these 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 at most you know like and to scroll here they really want to scroll here you know like they really got here because they want to 
and they will probably barely, barely read this, you know, like, but uh, it's okay, it's fine again, you know, like, backed by science, okay, stay motivated, okay, personalized learning, okay, you, you can see that by now, it's also not a problem of analyzing those very big and known companies. This has already become like commonplace. You know, like five years ago, Golink was revolutionary to have copy like this, but it feels like, you know, like stay motivated. Oh, okay, yeah, everyone reminds me to stay motivated. Personalized learning, yeah, everything's personalized now. You know, like, so objections are high, you know, like, but okay, let's go. Learn anytime, anywhere. Again, very standard copy. You can see that the design, at least, is very, very beautiful. I mean, Congratulations to the design team. These animations, as you scroll, is very top-notch. We are going to analyze it in on mobile um, by the end of this, but I imagine that it's going to look beautiful just as well. Okay, uh, one thing that I really dislike, power up with Super Duolingo. Try two weeks for free. I'll let that sink. First question, what the hell is Super Duolingo? You know, like, th that's a little bit of vanity and some some companies suffer of vanity, uh, big and small, you know, like especially small somehow. Uh, that is assuming that people know what the hell. I I I, ra I kind of remember, you know, like Super Duolingo being something about uh, AI powered Duolingo, you know, like whatever. Uh, but but you see, and, and I'm someone who has used Duolingo. I even had a 500 streak, you know, like a few years back. So I'm somewhat a power user, and I barely remember this. So it's confusing. It doesn't give any explanation. One a one line here would help, you know, like for of the Super Duolingo, our, our AI powered mentor to 10x, you know, like the speed in which you learn a language or something less verbose would be much better. Try two weeks for free. Again, another crime against humanity here. <laughs> I'm just laughing because Duolingo has this unhinged market with it's always about you know, like crazy things and crimes against humanity. So I'm just laughing that I kind of gave it like some echo. But it's confusing because when you go, go back here, I thought it was going to be free. You know, like, how, how am I going to just test it two weeks for free? And I know, again, if you put your head of like thinking person on, you know that's probably the super Duolingo, it's a paid feature, etc. But think that people who, regular people who scroll through a page, they aren't, you know, like, paying attention, you know, like they are half paying attention. So they say, oh, free, oh, uh, uh, mm, uh, beautiful, mm, mm, mm. Uh, two weeks are free, uh, I knew it was paid. And it isn't, you know, like, so it's confusing. Uh, it's very beautiful, again, congratulations, but it's confusing, unnecessary to be like this. A, a, a little bit of clarification would go a long way here. So the lingua English test, okay. And, and again, I, I, this here, I also dislike, I think everything up to this point was nice and like very clean and very to the point and very good. And I love the simplicity here. I love how it conveys a lot with just a little, you know, with just a little. But as we go down, it gets worse because Duolingo English test is another thing that I need to understand that they provide. Duolingo for schools, it's not for everyone. It, it should go way down, you know, like less than 1% might be here for this. Duolingo ABC, what the hell, you know, like, I, what is this? Oh my God, Duolingo Math is just released. So it starts to get more and more confusing and then it goes back to learn a language with Duolingo. So if all of these could be a, a shyer, you know, like a more shy version down below, it would be much better than having all of this here and then, and then having this, you know, like this should come way more, way earlier than it did, but who am I? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but okay so this again the bottom the bottom kind of you can see that someone who knew what they were talking about convinced people to have a small top bar here and i like how they have a lot of languages that should be a focus and it is someone convinced them uh, of having a clean top bar but then they shoved everything in the bottom <laughs> here and to be honest it's a mess you know like it's a mess here because uh, Find the efficacy, the efficacy leak. Find it. Find it. You have five seconds. You'll probably be, oh, what is it? Where is it? Oh. It's here. You know? So what I mean by this is that the more things you have at any point in any page in any app, at the same time, the more you dilute the everything. You know? like, so 
having like three, six, 10, 30, 40 things here, you know, like everything here is weak. You know, like for me to find the blog, uh, you, you have to put, put in cognitive work to find the blog. You have to put in cognitive work to find the podcast. And maybe half of these shouldn't even be here, you know, like, but again, and you'll see this with a lot of big companies, the homepage is more politics than conversion. Uh, there are probably teams inside on, of Duolingo that care about the podcast and the UX, the conversion rate optimization team on the homepage, probably, you know, like rolls their eyes whenever they know they have to put the podcast here, but they do it anyway because, you know, like politics. So at least Duolingo had the decency to push it all to the bottom. And again, the bottom is not is one of the better places for you to put it here. I'd much rather have this here than in the top bar. But again, maybe the best thing you do sometimes for other things to shine is to remove uh, junk uh, nearby it. So that's it. That's all right. All 11 minutes. Let's see the mobile version now. OK. Uh, and by the way, the way I did this, I, I'm on a MacBook. Uh, I just pressed uh, F12. It, it's usually the same for Windows and on Chrome, but if you don't know, if it's not the same for you, just search how to open developer tools. Uh, and usually you just have to click here to use a device and you can click here to change devices. That's all there is to it. Let's see. Uh, on mobile, that's the above the fold. Again, the same thing here. It gets a little bit more crowded, but it's still way very minimalistic, which is very nice. And by the way, uh, you can see that Duolingo, even though it's minimalistic, you can see that uh, the the primary buttons are always, you know, like they have the shadow here in the bottle uh, that goes a little bit away from minimalism, but that's a very common movement you've seen in recent years to give like some depth to the most important buttons. You know, like you can see that even this button has it. It's nice because not everyone in the world knows minimalism and wouldn't understand this as a button. So, Nice point to this. Uh, it's pretty much the same page. We can see free, fun, effective, backed by science. But the problem you can see is that scrolling is um, real estate's way more important vertically. You know, like you can see by the time I reach here, I had to scroll way more than on desktop. So it would be a good reason to have way less things on mobile than it has here. Learn end time anywhere. And by the way, if I'm on mobile, maybe it, it would be better but I know it can be controversial to have the App Store and Play Store here already because I'm probably wanting, wanting to download the app and I know at least everywhere I worked that app users are usually way more engaged than website users and it makes sense as an overall rule because to download an app, you, you really have to be committed to a company. So maybe have it uh, a little bit up. <laughs> this is nice, cute. But again, nice, cute. Okay, the same problems apply here. And from this point onwards, everything still is beautiful. I like that the top bar comes back here because it's a very good approach on mobile to have this always on top bar here. It's way better than have to scroll back. So another nice thing. But again, every single problem still applies here. And you can see how many screens we have here just for the bottom, a lot of screens, but it's okay. Uh, it's okay, it's not too bad. And finally, let me scroll all the way back. To be honest with you, I really like uh, Duolingo's homepage, but I think it could be way better for the size that the company is. But at the same time, the pressure for it to be way worse, given all that it does, is also there. So I give it like a 7.5 out of 10 uh, in overall quality, copywriting, UX, and design. The design being the best here, the design's nine out of 10 here. Uh, it's not the best, you know, but it's pretty good. Uh, you can see that a lot of care has been put in making it minimalistic, but at the same time, conveying every important information. So congratulations. But it, it starts to get very bad after this section here, you know, like this being the biggest scene, you know, like it, this being you, it's somewhat excused because they probably were, were they probably rush it to have it here, but again, why should they, uh, being the size that they are? But yeah, everything else here is just a mess of different directions for me to go and confusing, unnecessarily, and this is funny. Respecting your do not sell my personal information rights, wow, what a mouthful. So yeah, 
Congratulations, Duolingo is a very nice page. Uh, I will see you in the next one. This is the first of a lot of pages. And hopefully you learned something from these. Leave your comments below on, you know, like anything uh, you want. You may also not leave comments at all. Uh, subscribe, like, whatever. <laughs> but truthfully, if you want more uh, things like this, and like subscribe, because that will be the best way for you to, to get to know these. So, you know, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.